Source Code 2011 Movie Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. So I wanna do a little movie review on a movie called Source Code from 2011. Now, what really got me to try this movie was that it was rated a 7.5 on IMDb and a lot of the movies that were similar to this just really wasn't that high. And I'm a fan of Jake Gyllenhaal at times. When I saw the cover of this, I don't know. I was like, man, I don't think this is gonna be for me personally. And jumping into it, it's essentially kind of like a Groundhog Day style movie. He wakes up, he's like on a train. He doesn't really know what's going on. A bomb goes off and he like wakes up and he's kind of in this pod and within the pod he's talking to somebody through a screen she's basically saying we're running a simulation we only have eight minutes we need you to go back in that simulation and basically find who planted the bomb and other things like that so it's basically like a simulation type movie so this movie was quick no fat whatsoever it was 90 minutes um it's a very visually nice looking movie there's a lots of scenery uh, the cgi is nothing seemed off or wrong about it so that's how cgi should be all the explosions seem good nothing seem too dated and a lot of times these movies these kinds of movies they can get a little convoluted and long and end up being like two two and a half hours I think this is a very easy entry to this kind of mind bendy time warping kind of movie I do think it's very easy to watch it doesn't require too much of a complex mind I pretty much guessed almost all the twists now they do have a twist at the end that I did not get I'll get into that more in a little bit but most of the main twists about what's going on with this guy why he's there all these other things like i pretty much guessed all the twists except for the end so they kind of build some of the twists as oh like you didn't know this was happening the whole time and i was like well no i was kind of betting on that happening the whole time i was expecting it to go further than this and it kind of doesn't now as far as that twist it technically does. It does do something I didn't expect it to do, but I just don't buy that things could be this good in the end. I almost feel like it's just, it's too fake. It's too much of a jump. If we're going to get there, we needed more time personally, but at the same time, it does end on a very good note. So I'm sure a lot of people like that. So the acting was good here. I had, nobody's acting stood out as bad for me. Vera Farmiga, she's always been one of my favorite actresses. She's so serious and she's probably the best actress here, I would say, but all of them I had no issues with it. I think it had good acting overall. So anyways, guys, this movie was really easy to watch. So easy to wrap your head around. I think it's PG-13, so anybody could watch it. I'm going to have to give it between a 7 to a 7.5. And I do think this is a buy, try, or pass. A solid try. But anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. And I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully, having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. Chicago today. Temperatures expected to reach the lower 60s.